Hello and welcome to this talk on learning individual speaking styles for accurate lip to speech synthesis. We are a group from IIIT Hyderabad and this paper was originally published in the main track of CVPR 2020. The main goal of this paper is to infer speech solely from the lip movements. So why do we want to solve such a problem? Well, it turns out that babies observe lip movements while learning to speak. Thus, we intend to capture the correlation between lip movements and speech from a very young age. Lip movements are also used by people while conversing in highly noisy conditions or by people hard of hearing to understand the spoken content better. We wanted to explore the possibility of a deep learning model doing the same task. This can ideally give rise to a lot of future applications. These can include video conferencing tools that can be used in both noisy environments as well as in an environment like a library where you need to maintain silence. Such works can potentially help people with aphonia. In this video, we will show an exciting application of our work wherein we generate missing speech segments which can occur due to signal corruption or loss from lip movements. As such, the problem of inferring information from lip movements il is ill-posed. The same set of lip movements can map to different words. The words park, mark and bark are a classic example of homophenes. Thus, humans generally tend to perform this task poorly. However, they are acceptable under certain conditions like prior knowledge about the topic being spoken, familiarity with the person, things like gesture and expressions can also play a role. Thus, we ask the question, how accurately can we infer an individual's speech style and content from his or her lip movements? There had been some previous work done for this problem. However, these works specifically dealt with laboratory settings with no head movements or expressions. The works also dealt with a minuscule vocabulary consisting of around 50 words. We also found that most of these works use rudimentary encoder-decoder architectures resembling image autoencoders for this problem. The networks from the previous works were also trained specifically for a single speaker at a time. We on the other hand felt that this problem is a sequence sequence problem. Our main inspiration came from state of the art text to speech works which converts the sequence of words into a sequence of speech timestamps. We thus posed our approach on the same mold. Please also note that a lip to speech network does not require manual annotations in comparison to lip to text works. On the other hand, our problem is arguably more challenging in lip to speech since we need to infer prosody and content compared to only the content for lip to text. Text to speech networks generally require around 24 hours of data per speaker for generating high quality speech. Since we decided to use a network inspired by a TTS, therefore we also had to create datasets at a similar scale. We took lectures from various sources including NPTEL along with a chess commentary channel on YouTube. Our dataset is far more extensive than any of the datasets the previous works had used for training their networks. Additionally, our dataset is not recorded in a lab setting and contains a large amount of head movement, expressions, vocabulary, etc. However, we also train a speaker-specific network, meaning we train a network for each speaker separately. We now proceed to lip to wave a sequence sequence network that can generate speech from only lip movements for a particular speaker. Let us first check out the input and output for our network. The input to our model is a sequence of face crops. We show that a smaller window is detrimental to the network because of the lack of context it can provide. Thus, we take a 3 second window that contains 90 frames for a 30 fps video. Our network is trained to generate a mesh spectrogram that corresponds to the ground truth speech. Some previous works had used LPC features that are low dimensional and lead to poor quality speech generation. Next, we have a face encoder consisting of a bunch of 3D CNN layers that encode the lip movement information. We also try out several other encoders like an 1D CNN, a 2D CNN, both of which perform inferior to the 3D CNN one. We also later show in an ablation study that our encoder is actually attending to the lip and jaw region of a particular speaker while generating speech. We pass the encoded features 
to an attention based decoder taken from a state of the art TTS network tachotron 2 the decoder decodes one time step at a time in an auto regressive fashion during training we start by providing the previous ground truth time step while generating the current time step this strategy is popularly known as teacher forcing we find that it is essential to decay teacher forcing with time decaying of teacher forcing gives us a healthy boost in the quality of the generated speech we finally generate raw waves from the generated mel spectrogram using the griffin lim algorithm we did not use a more popular vocoder like wavenet because we found our mel specs to be noisy and thus a wavenet performed poorly when trained using our network we evaluate the results from our network both qualitatively and quantitatively we use metrics like psq and sqi to measure the quality of the speech we find that our network outperforms previous works by a good margin we also perform human evaluations to corroborate the quality metrics we find that human participants consistently rate our network higher than previous works we also train the multi speaker version of our network in this version we aim to have a single network that can be used to generate speech for any speaker we pass an additional speaker embedding containing voice information along with the face crops we train this network on the lrw dataset which has a vocabulary of 500 words each word being spoken 1000 times we show that the multi speaker network works decently well on the test set of the lrw dataset let us now check out the results from our work Set white with i7 soon. 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 Eight field guns of Hampshire frame decision. Eight field guns were captured in position. Eight field guns were captured in position. Now, if you'll pardon me, I won't keep him waiting. Now, if you'll pardon me, I won't keep him waiting. We've talked about the relationship between the wavelength, the frequency, and the speed of electromagnetic radiation. In fact, the product of the wavelength and the frequency is the speed. Night of three, B six with B four, C captures night captures. Uh, we have night of six, night to C three and A six. Uh, we go. So we already saw how to train such a very shallow neural network. What is the uh, learning algorithm? Gradient descent, and this was the update code, right? In particular, I wanted you to notice that the gradient actually depends on the input. For any of these weights, W1, W2, W3, the gradient formula will have this h i minus one. What is h i minus one? Input from the previous, right? And h zero is the actual input. So the gradient in any layer is actually proportional to the input from the previous layer. I just want. Let's look at a cell potential of 0.5 volts for an oxidation of bromide by permanganate. The question I have is, what pKH would cause this voltage? Would it be a pH that's less than zero, equal to zero? I've been accused of accused of understand understand that. My prison officer. My prison officer. The result of the result of that. As we can see, our method produces legible speech solely from lip movements. Compared to previous efforts, we take a significant leap in terms of quality. Our codes and models are publicly released on GitHub to support future research. Please try them out. Please also check out the paper for more information. Feel free to contact us in the given email ID for queries and suggestions. Here are the references that were used for the talk. Thank you for your attention.